Hello teachers. These are days when we do a lot of online classes and very often our students request us to give them the audio of our class because they uh, could not attend or they want to listen to us again. Um, I, in this video, uh, I propose to talk about how we can easily create an audio file, edit it and then share it with our students. So we can do this using Audacity. The first thing we need to do is um, search in Google for the Audacity application and then download it, install it in your computer and open it. And then just before your class is to begin, you go to Audacity. It will look like this and press the record button here it will start recording and it will go on recording and you go back to your Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams or whatever interface you are using for your class and go on doing your session. In between, say you give a break for uh, five minutes, come back here and press this pause button so it will pause uh, until you come. So if you want to take a break from your class, press the pause button here and when you come back and just before you start the class again press the pause button once again to resume the recording so you imagine you have done a 45 minutes class and a one hour class you have finished the students are gone you come back and stop recording so all the while your class was being recorded by the computer. Make sure you select the appropriate microphone here so that your voice input is proper. So now we go to the second part of our work. Your class is over and now you spend another 10-15 minutes uh, more to complete this work. Uh, what you might want to, you can as such use this recording or you can edit it a bit. Suppose you have made some comments in it which you don't want to be there in the recording. Suppose there was a long pause in between which you want to remove. Suppose there were some disturbances in between which you again you want to remove, whatever. Basically, it's all editing. Uh, the long line, it can be very long sometimes. You see, see in between there is a line? Yeah. It means that's a part where there's a pause. So sometimes this pause can be very long. So it can, there can be a long line here. That means that is a time when you did not say again. So however long it is, select the whole thing like this. Select, press your mouse here, cursor here and select like this and cut it out. That part is gone. So you have removed the pauses. That is fine. But imagine there is a part that you want to remove, uh, which you don't want there to be in the uh, video, I mean in the audio file. Uh, something you said which uh, you don't want uh, there or uh, some disturbances, some informal conversation you had with the students in between. How you do is you play the file again and when you reach the part where you want to stop, click pause. The face you're using, click pause and mark start here recording. like that and it will go on. Mark like that and select that part you want to edit. Suppose this, this much part you want to edit out. Uh, listen to it and fix the point, you know, 4.05. It's easy, not very difficult. Initially, it will be a little difficult, but soon you will be able to do it very quickly. And you, you select that part which you don't want there. It can be a small part. It can be a very small part. It can be a long part, whatever. Select it, cut it out. That is the way you edit your file. There are so many features in um, Audacity that will be useful, which you can find. For example, you can select remove background noise. You can enhance your audio, etc. using effect button here. But in this interface I'm using now, if I press effect, you won't be able to see the pull down menu. So I'm not doing it. Uh, so, but you can experiment with that, but that is not needed. Even a basic edited version can be used. So imagine you have recorded your class, you have removed those portions which you don't want there to be in the recording, 
you've done all that and finally uh, you press the file button on the top here a pull down menu will come which is not visible in this video a pull down menu will come go to export when you click export more options will come export as mp3 click export as mp3 then uh, uh, you will be asked where you want your mp3 file to be saved you mark your location give a name to your uh, file and it will automatically be saved your work is done your with our class has been recorded as an mp3 and it is ready for you and it, if it is a big file and you cannot share it in whatsapp uh, you can one one easy thing you can do is you can send it as email attachment it will be shared in the cloud you can also create a telegram channel a channel remember not a group a telegram channel in which you are the admin and the others are all members put all your recordings there with a title and share the telegram link with the channel link with your students so they can go to the telegram link whenever they want and see all the files you have uploaded and they can listen to it conveniently so that's a very easy way of sharing your audio file as well i hope this video was useful explore audacity it will also help you to enhance your your audio you can remove the background voice you can enhance the sound quality you can do a lot of things with that there are many helpful tutorials in youtube for that but even if you don't do all that uh, a raw uh, recording of your uh, class will be available for the students which will be of immense use to them so um, thank you for listening and also uh, all the very best with your classes Thank you.